Hello, hello, hello. Luke from Corniff here. Let me turn my microphone down. I'm getting too enthusiastic. Hello, hello, hello. Luke from Corniff here. So, um, this is part three of a three-part series on setting attack times with compressors to get maximum punch. And this is uh, running an entire mix through the pawn shop comp, so it's a mix bus compression uh, video. The previous one was on guitars, the one before that was on drums. You can find all of them down below in the description area of YouTube. But for now, let's let's do this mix. So first, let's hear a moment of it. Cool press roll here. I did a longer video on this where I used um, a bunch of the stuff on the back side of the pawn shop, the other side, to really work on the track. This time, this is going to be much shorter. I'm just going to focus on using the front panel to get a, a punchier sound out of this. Step number one, always put on auto makeup gain. Now for punch, you're going to be setting your ratio uh, somewhere above four to one. For a, um, a bus mix, I'm probably going to start about four to one because that's where SSL bus compressors kind of start at. That's the basic setting. And when I used to use SSL bus compressors, it would almost be always like at the four to one setting. That's where it was always sweet to me. You and your face turns blue. Okay, quite a volume increase. I'm going to drop this a tiny bit back more so we can hear it a little more evenly. I'll see you when you're through It's up to you, it makes no difference to me Okay, so this is already pretty punchy to begin with. Um, I'm going to pull my attack to full fast, and then I'm going to ease it off, and there's going to be a spot where it's going to start to breathe, and you're going to hear the, the click of the drums come out a little bit, and the whole thing is going to move forward into your face a little bit, and that's where it starts sounding good and punchy to me. Again, way too much compression, right? And that's because the attack is so fast. Remember, the loudest thing on a waveform, the most power is contained in the transient. So if you have a real fast attack, you're taking a lot of power off the signal. You're taking all the high end off the signal. So let's hear that. Yeah. Hear how dull and terrible that sounds? That's too fast. Now I'm going to ease up on that attack, and you'll hear it start to take a breath and step forward a bit. We'll dance with spirit eyes. Now, right in here, I hope you can hear it over your speakers and across YouTube. There's a spot where the kick uh, really starts to sound good. And um, you feel that. This is a kind of a Brazilian beat called a compa. I think it's a Brazilian kind of beat. And that kick, that four on the floor kick, is really essential to this section of the song. So I'm going to try to get that kick to come out a little bit more. We'll dance with spirit eyes. Okay, so let's hear the before and after. I'll see you when you're dead. I'll see you when you hold me down. I'll see you when your face turns blue. So that sounds definitely punchier, but I'm losing a lot of the high end on the whole thing. And, um, and that is because the release is set wrong, basically, I think, here. The release is just way too long. But we, we're hearing the attack, and we're definitely getting more attack. Now, remember, when you're when you're bus compressing something, when you're doing an overall mix, you're not just... Uh, it'd be dumb to be like, oh, here's my entire mix. I made the kick sound better, but now the vocals don't sound as good. So you got to kind of take the entire thing into account, the entirety of the recording when you're compressing a bus, or especially when you're compressing an entire mix. you got to listen to the whole thing. Nobody really hums the drum part, if you know what I'm saying, unless it's a Beatle tune, in which case they, they probably do. But uh, let's pull back the release, get this whole thing to brighten up a little bit and sound a little more natural. I'll see you when you're through. It's up to you, it makes no All right, so you probably heard that uh, 
take a nice breath. I keep using that as a description for attack and for release. That I can't really do that, right? They can't both do the same thing. Um, let's listen, and I'll A-B it. I'm actually reducing the ratio a little bit, and I like it a little bit better. It just seems um, uh, it's being a little gentler to the entire track. Three to one is is a pretty low compression ratio. Ocean rise. We'll dance on down. Look where I've We'll dance across the view. Before. It's up to you. It makes no After. There it is. I don't want this video to go on 20 minutes while I screw around with all this wonderful stuff in back, which I want to screw around with because it's so much fun. I can change the tubes. Oh, let's not go there. Okay, so there you have it. Setting attack and uh, playing with the controls to get more punch on a mix. Maybe playing with release a little bit too much, you know, for a video about attack. But, you know, the whole thing, it has to sound good. If your attack is set perfectly and your release is bad, it will sound bad. You know, you have to learn to get all of this stuff going. So the previous video, whoa, what did I do? I'm getting too enthusiastic. The previous video was on just a guitar. The uh, video before that was on drums. You can find all of them down below in the, in the, uh, the little area. And thank you for listening, and thank you for supporting Corniff Audio, and I will talk to you later. This is Luke saying bye-bye for now.